So um, as is the case with most InDesign projects, when we first see the document, it's going to be very sparse. So we need to be organized from the get go. And that starts with the layers panel. So I'm going to drag the layers panel out, rename the current and only layer that's in the layer stack called layer one, uh, hover to the right hand side to do that and double left click to bring up layer options. I'm going to rename that layer images and change the color coding to red. Color coding is extremely important because it dictates what the frame color will be. Of course, everything inside of InDesign lives within a frame and everything that lives in the images layer now will be color coded with a frame that's red. Go down to the bottom, click on the plus to create a new layer. That's created above the previous one. Double left click to the right hand side of that layer name. That layer will be named text and the color coding of light blue will work really well because if we have any overset text, that's indicated on the text frame itself in red. So red against that blue text frame color will stand out nice and clearly for us to see. Click OK. And then finally, I'm going to Alt and left click on the symbol for create a new layer. And it takes me straight to the dialog box. Call this one grid and I'm going to leave it set to that lovely obnoxious green color and click OK. So we've got layers color coders as red, blue and green. And then going to put the layers panel back up to the right hand side and dock it in there. And then I'm just going to pull the pages panel out so we can see this nice and clearly. Um, if you can't see all of the master pages in the upper portion of the pages panel, just hover over the pale dividing line and then click and drag and pull that down so you can see everything nice and clearly. I'm then going to hover over and double left click on the master page name, a master, and then it'll take me to that page. I'm going to right click on that master page name and choose master options for a master. In here, I'm going to leave the prefix set to a but I'm going to change the name of this to structure and then I'll click OK. I'm also going to right click on that master page name and change the page attributes color label to red. So you can see now that the master page of a structure, which we had given to us by default by InDesign, has now tagged each of the pages red and that is now tagging anything in the numbered page in our document with the same red. So that means that the A master page, when you build an InDesign document, is automatically applied to every number page in your document. So what if I put on the A structure master page will appear on every single number page by default to start off with. And for now, I'll tuck that over the side, out of the way, and just so we can see enough room of that to start off with. And with the layers now prepared for new content to be added and the master pages set up, we can start adding our grids.